Like, family, forgive me for looking extremely tired. I was in on two weeks live last night, and man, boy, the Latinos were, I don't know, the Dominicans in particular were the Lulu, for sure. But I caught this live on TikTok. This FBA brother was standing on all the business and cooking. So it only took, only did 20 minutes, because I, I, you know, I still got a life. I still got to get out here, move and shake and get things done. Check this out. You're going to love it. I mean, I have to be honest. It was a failure to a certain extent because uh, y'all paid the French in reparations. They they should have been paying y'all. And the French still owe y'all money. Because the type of money that the French was making money off of y'all, off the sugarcane plantations, we're talking about the billions. Oh, oh, fu oh fuck yeah, they owe y'all money. And that's the whole thing with black Americans. Y'all can't be a part of this. Y'all not entitled to it. And it's not your lineage. It's not your culture. Now, I will say is that y'all do... Now, I'm not saying y'all, all y'all, because y'all do have respect. A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all non-black Americans, you know, y'all practice a lot of stuff that's not y'all culture, and then y'all feel entitled that, like, y'all saying the N-word. Y'all don't say the N-word. That's saying how... We've been saying that shit since the 40s and the 50s, way before y'all Caribbeans even immigrated here. That's not a part of y'all lingo. That's just y'all latching to us because y'all skin is melanated. Y'all think y'all entitled to say that shit. Mm, I don't agree with that part. I agree with that 100%. I don't I agree with that part. Definitely either. agree with that. People from Florida, people from New York, I'm from Trinidad. Pie, I'm from Trinidad. 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 I'm Exactly. Yeah, you on call with everything right. else. One hundred percent. I'm with you. Everything else. Radio. But you lost me with that n word part. Y'all don't. Y'all don't. Y'all don't use that. Y'all don't. Y'all don't, yeah. don't, yeah. don't use that. Y'all don't use that in your American. We've been saying that since the late eighteen hundreds. We've been saying it as well. No, y'all. Y'all. Y'all only okay, saying where, that. Okay. Where? Where have y'all been saying that? Where in have y'all been saying that? Okay. So keep it in Trinidad. In America, we telling you, you can't use it here because no, it's not here. Don't say like I'm not. Hold on, time out. Time out. That's a lie. Y'all don't use that in your lingo. Yes, Stop we lying. Do. We do. No, y'all no, do. do. Bro, you say that now. No, we've been say that saying that. Then. We've been saying that. My no, grandmother was saying okay, that. Okay, give me a time period. My grandfather was saying that. Give me a time that. period. Give me a time the period. 1800s, the same That's thing. That's a lie. Before. That's a lie. We, that we've wasn't even speaking English. In Trinidad. That wasn't even speaking English. We What? Do you know about Trinidad? We speak English. We always spoke English. What are you talking about? We speak English in Trinidad. What other country, what other language did we ever speak Come in? Come on, hold on. Let me rephrase that. Let me. Y'all wasn't speaking black American lingo. We always spoke English and we was always called the N-word. Y'all wasn't country, using we black American lingo. Y'all wasn't using black That's, American listen, lingo. No, y'all wasn't. That's no, white wasn't. American lingo, if we're going to be Bro. honest. That's white Bro. American lingo, if we're going to be honest, because that's what they called us, right? If we're gonna be honest, they but, the I don't know what they call you in Trinidad. Excuse we don't me, know but, what the they is, but the difference is time out. But the difference is, is that we, as a collective group, Black America, we flipped our word as in terms of endearment. Y'all copied off of us the same way no, how y'all dressed. No. Time out. Your girl Nicki Minaj is a prime example because she's you a tether to Tom, even I'm in modern day. Nicki, heard, excuse me, I'm Nicki Minaj. Lie. Mm -hmm. Talking about Nicki Minaj, hold on. Nicki Minaj is a tether too. Because let me tell you something right now. Nicki Minaj can, yo, she could claim Trinidad and all that other bullshit. But her whole culture came from black American culture. But at the same breath, she was the I same one. Talking about, hold on. She was the same one, right? That mm -hmm. was bashing. Talking about, that was sitting over there, over there, flirting with Michael B. Jordan in the award show. Um, and shout out to Michael B. Jordan because she's going to be taking this dress off tonight. But you attack Michael B. Jordan on Twitter saying he's not Caribbean. When he became the ambassador from some Caribbean company, I forgot what it was. Juve, was Juve. Again, I'm not disagreeing with what you just said about Nicki Minaj. All I'm saying is that the N word was used in my country as well in the 1800s. It was used in other countries. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Yes, it I got was. see proof. Yes, it I was. They called proof. us the same N word that they called y'all. No, and we used uh, it as well. You, no, y'all wasn't using that as a term. Yes, of yes, he was. Excuse me. No, y'all wasn't. Like, I, I mean, the only thing I'm going to say is that like, I'm, so I'm from Miami as well, and I know a lot of Trinis. I, I have never heard Trinis use that use the N-word to refer to each other. In He's lying. Uh, I am literally from the country. You're from Miami. Please. You know Trinidadians. I'm right, from I, know. I, know, I know a lot of Trinis. I, listen, I know people from Trinidad, Jamaica. Um, I, I, listen, and that's I, and fine. I and that's dandy. Dandy. I'm uh, saying I, in my country, when, when I was growing up, I've never heard them say the N When I was growing up, hold on, Tama, what year did you grow up? Tama, Tama, what year were you born? The only ones that I ever hear, 
The only Trinis and Jamaicans and Haitians that I ever uh, see utilizing the N word are the ones who. You was born in the nineties. You fooled that yo yo. You was already I'm just being honest. Look, when I was growing up, right, my country is a has a racial disparity between Indians and blacks, right? They don't refer to. Can I finish? Can I finish? finish? They don't refer to black people as black people. Stop! 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 They refer to us as N word people, bro. You was born in the nineties. Y'all was already copying us by then. Man. And I said my grandmother was using it. You know what, man? All right. Okay, and black uh, men. Yeah, I agree with you. Wait, 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 no, no, I, I want more black gravity. Americans are culturally and what, different. What, I do not contest and what, that. And what manner was they using it in um in um in And it was a different was manner. It was, it, I, I, okay, it was a different good. manner. It definitely way. was a different manner. Well, how did they use it? For they educational purposes, because I never heard of it before. So Me neither. Kind of okay, they used it to yeah. classify the people. So as far as African-Americans refer to themselves as African-Americans. That's my point. He just proved my point right there. I said we used it as a term of endearment. Like, yeah. yo, what's good with you, my nigga? But you said we were causing me as a term of endearment. I just said that we also used like the that, word. Bro. That's all I've, I've never... Again, oh, okay. I'm going to say it again. Okay. Come on, I'm going to say it again. I was very specific in what I said, uh, uh, Mr. Carvin. I said y'all wasn't using it the way as far as the term of endearment. Didn't I not say that, John? Right, yeah, right. right. I, I made that very clear. Mm -hmm. You don't say, people in Trinidad don't say, hey, yo, man, yo, what's good with you, my nigga? Y'all don't talk like that. What's good with you? Yeah. That's black American lingo. Can I talk to him from a, a different point of view? So when we get upset when people who are not black American, American specifically um FEA use that word right and some will mm -hmm. allow their friends to use it but when when the collective says well we don't think y'all should use that word because you understand how it was used in the original sense here in America not Trinidad and not the time of today like we were really oppressed under that there's pictures of us unalive with that written on us and and on paper like so the history behind it we feel that we turned it into something between us and not everybody should be able to say that now yeah. quote, correct me if i'm wrong y'all are very um protective over things like jove right your carnival mm -hmm. and stuff you don't want people coming in just messing up the stuff and then um natives are very, shit, though. Oh, right. no listen listen the natives uh they ask us not to wear certain um clothing because that's cultural to them it has his history behind it and and to y'all the n-word may not be uh cultural or whatever but we're asking y'all the same thing that we have boundaries too and we're asking y'all as people who are not of our lineage to respect certain boundaries now i can't help it if your friend from florida says go ahead man i don't care but what i am asking is when you meet someone like me and i say come on man don't use that word around me that you respect that know I that we're not that. a monolith thank you but the That's truth about, but the, truth, about, times, but the argument i came okay. with you carbon you don't say the word how they used it back then you just proved it you say you say the n word as in how we talk stop the cap you know what the hell i'm talking about you I go up to your homeboys and say yo what's good with you my nigga Trin people I, from Trinidad don't talk like York. that. I moved from Trinidad to New York. That's my lingo. That's how we That's talk. my point. No, that's not your lingo. That's the lingo that you adopted from my culture. That That is the lingo we adopted from your culture. So I'm okay, not, so, so I'm my not question arguing is, with you on that yeah, point. So all my I question was is, come on, is but I have an even broader word question. was used in my country as well. Listen, that's all I, I was but, saying. But I was very specific on what I said about how it was used. That's what I'm saying. We don't, we're not talking you about that. You made that point so my after question, the initial point, though. You were specific after. No, I didn't. Yes, you was. Bro, everybody here... Okay, whatever, fine. Well, I'll just leave with that. But my whole, my whole broader question into Caribbean people: Why do y'all feel y'all entitled to y'all culture all because y'all moved to where our city is? I don't want to hear about this proximity shit because I'm gonna tell you because I'm gonna tell you what the difference is. Shea Bay, I'm gonna use you as an example. Do you see Black Americans copying off a of Haitian culture? Do we talk how y'all talk or do what y'all do? Be for real. No. So why do y'all do it with us? Cause we I, mean, I don't copy you guys culture i don't know like i don't just because i mean i grew up around americans i mean i partake in american culture black american culture because it's also what i grew up around but it's not like it's intentional shebe shebe let's not be disingenuous i'm not i'm just you saying, say like, you it's talk not like a black american in your sleep stop the cap 
Huh? Stop the cat. What cat? So if, a, if a Hispanic person come in and starts speaking English, what's that? You said, I'm sorry, what now? If a Hispanic person comes to America and they start speaking English, as far as what Shea Bay is saying, it's, it's assimilation. English? No, 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 no. I didn't say English. That's I said black. Hold on. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Stop. Stop. Stop using that target point. We don't own the English word. I'm not saying that. Right. I said black. I said black You're American. Saying, why do we use the dialect? Huh? Why do we use as Caribbean people? Why are we using African American? You know, how come y'all don't copy? All, how come y'all don't copy off the, the Italians or whatever? Because you from New York, right? Because yeah. black Americans, we don't copy off. The I Italians. didn't grow up around Italians. That's why I grew up around African Americans. Come out, but the bro. First of all, New York City is very, very crowded. I'm from the Bronx. There's no Italians where I'm from. What part oh, of the Bronx? Okay, you where are you from? I'm you from the Bronx. I'm from the Bronx. I live on Highbridge. <laughs> Let's get it. I live on Highbridge. Okay, Spanish but you do. Africans and African yeah, Americans. Spanish. So why aren't you adopting the Spanish and the African culture? Why is everything dominantly um, Black American? I would say because of skin color, I, I push more towards the African Americans than I did the Spanish and the Hispanic. Oh. Are you serious? But you said African. We're not African. I'm asking you Black Americans. Why I do, do take you some African culture. I have, I, have, I have African friends who are Muslims, and I, I use some Carver, of these words. You, I use yo, some of these. This is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. y'all, not, y'all are not being honest. The reason why I'm saying this is because I'm from Harlem. I grew up on y'all niggas. Y'all don't do that. <laughs> we don't do what? What part of Harlem are you from? Man, I'm from, I'm from West 122nd, man. 123rd, West 122nd. Stop fucking playing with me. You from West 122nd? Yes, 123rd. My grandfather owned so the Why you don't land. talk like the Africans? Is Africans over there too? No, now they are. They wasn't like that back then. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was born in 95, my boy. You was born in 95. I was born in 95. Because <laughs> Africans lived back then. What are you talking about? Bro, we don't talk about. I don't copy all the Africans because that's not my culture. Mm. So you're saying that I should have came to America, lived in the Bronx, and kept my Trinidadian culture? Wow, what's wrong with that? I know plenty of Caribbeans that, that still have and their We definitely their keep our culture in the household. Eat their food. Do not okay. get me wrong. We so definitely why you don't keep, keep our culture that in the same household. energy in the street? And because the reason why I'm asking we that were time. bullied by African Americans into no assimilation. Way. Because y'all, no, we, they didn't bully, bully they us. Didn't bully us. They, 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 they didn't bully us. They didn't bully us because of the way y'all act. Come out. Bro, we talking Come about out. everybody. Come on. I'm going to just say this right now. I'm going to put myself on blast again. Carbon, you acting like a real punk with that. We did not. First of all, like I said, I'm from Harlem. My nigga, if they, they did not bully y'all because you're Caribbean. Everybody got it. I got my ass whooped for, for literally wearing fucking lugs to school. You know, if you come to school with some lugs, stop. Stop. I have some starberries. You never heard the African booty scratcher? I'm, I'm making that up. Yeah, nigga, you ever heard it? Bro, bro we time got out. different. Hold on, time out. heard your mama crack time it. Out. I, time out. I got you. Carbon, every, <laughs> time out. everybody got called an African booty scratcher, you fool. That wasn't just something specifically made for y'all. Everybody got called that. Nigga, I got called Jay-Z list because my lips were so big. The African that's way, that's, that's way worse. Time out. That's way worse to being called an African booty scratcher, bro. I got my ass teased. You now you're being disingenuous. No, I'm not being oh, disingenuous. Yeah. Everybody got called an African booty scratcher. <laughs> Listen, the, the no, about, but they, they, they use an African booty scratcher to hate us for you life. Get, like, you nigga, we grew up in a culture where you used to say your roasting, mama crack about, roasting, it, etc. Roasting, talking about roasting yeah. is a part of our culture. Talking about roasting is a part of our culture. You have, you know you know the show Wildin' Out? See, I gave you an answer. Stop, and stop, stop, stop. Answer my question. You know the show no, Wildin' Out, right? Answer, now you're flipping on me. I'm not answering your question. You're Time out, hold on. Tough guy on me. Time out. What, you know the show Wildin' Out, right? Nah. Tell me about it. Yeah, he... Okay. okay. <laughs> everybody know who. Everybody knows the show Wildin' Out, right? What's the whole yeah. premise of that show? What do they do? Roast. They roast each other, right? That's our culture. Don't... Everybody got called an African booty scratcher. Nigga, I got called Jay Z was. That shit hurt my feelings. I ain't gonna lie. It was mainly women that called me that. You saying I, making fun of people is African American culture? Yes, yes, it is. And nobody else yeah, make fun yeah. of people? Yeah. Don't nobody Ta else. Dozens? You ever heard of Dude, dude time out. Our, first of all, our biggest comedians made their whole career roasting people. Bernie Mac was known for that shit. Robin Harris, God rest his soul. I'm Amber, I miss Bernie Mac. Oh, they ro they roasted people, bro. When they did a tribute to Eddie Murphy a couple years back, back when Charlie Murphy was alive, he talked about him, how him and Eddie Murphy was growing up. How, because he always knew Eddie Murphy was talented. Eddie Murphy was doing comedy shows back when he was fucking 15 years old. 
So he used to did. roast people. Time out. He used to roast people, and he would practice with his older brother. He would say, <laughs> he said, Eddie Murphy said, Charlie's nose looked like an upside down power fist. I was dying. That's how Eddie <laughs> Murphy got his start. Yeah, yo, he said that shit. I couldn't believe he said that. That was his whole. That, that was their whole thing. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy's whole career, he was roasting the LGBT community, and they got and Eddie Murphy. Oh, oh, he was talking about, I know, I know. All right there. So what the fuck you talk? That is our culture. We roast people, my Listen, nigga. That's I'm saying that other people roast people as well. That's all I'm saying. No, but they didn't make a career out of it. What? what, what who, who know how to roast better than we do? Go ahead, say it. Nah, yeah, I don't know nobody who do. <laughs> Back to your original point, I definitely. All right do then. So don't come on with this whole African booty scratching thing. The only no, African that could we come were on. made fun of for being from another country. That's just a fact. You don't want to believe. You don't want to believe. Okay, it. and I got tea. Time out. I, I, I all right then. But I understand that though. Time out. And I got tea for having you big ass lips. North and talking country. You gonna get roast for sounding country. You, you gonna get roast? You from a cornfield? Yeah. That's no difference, bro. Like, what the hell are you talking about? No difference, bro. I'd rather be called an African. I'm not saying, I'm not, look, I'm not saying that it was exclusive uh, to us. Bro. I'm not saying it was exclusive to us. I was saying that that was, the reason, for? That was the reason that we assimilated. You asked right, me man. why we took your culture on. And I said because bro, we but that's not time out. But you time out. But you don't have to assimilate. You don't have from the country and you come up north and they keep violating you. I'm sure you're going to try to talk. No, you're not. No, you're not. Stop. 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 He embraces that shit. That's why he gets so much respect. He roasts people. You can talk about, yo, you can try to roast Michael Blackson about him being African and dark and all that other shit, but guess what, though? You still going to lose because Michael Blackson know how to roast your ass too back. Because he wasn't wrong now. But you, about, you ain't, t- exactly. I remember, I remember this whole, <laughs> I remember he said this whole roast. He was talking, he, he was going against this fat, uh, a fat guy and Roland, I can't remember, I can't remember who exactly what it was. He was making fun of. He said, "He said, take your Wakanda, stood up away, ass out of here." This nigga, this nigga, Michael Blackson said. He said, "He said, yo, your legs are so big, they arms talk to each other when they walk." He said, "I let you pass, you let me by, you, yo, I was dying." Wait, he <laughs> said that shit. He said, he said, he said, your legs are so big. Why they talk to each other when they talk? He said, he, he said, you let me pass, I let you by, you let me pass, I let you by. Yo, I was dying. <laughs> you don't got thick skin, bro. You don't have to assimilate, bro. Because Michael Blackson makes it clear that he's African. Yeah. Michael, Michael Blackson, he, he's Michael Blackson, 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 Michael Blackson is hilarious. He makes fun of his African If he wasn't for African Americans, he wouldn't. Have, he wouldn't be who he was. At, as far as Again, he, just like wait, wait, just like with your initial point that that other people, other blacks outside of America, cannot understand Black American culture. I would say same so for Black Americans and immigrant culture. I you never, guess what, that. though, Tomo, I, we I don't, I never claim that. We can't agree on that? No. Tomo, I, I, I never claim, I never claim that we are empath- empathetic to you, and I said that we're not. No, 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 because, I'm saying because, we cannot understand each other's struggle. No, I, I said, eh, to a certain extent, maybe, but okay. to a certain extent, maybe, maybe, but the main difference is, but the main difference is you're an immigrant. My family didn't leave shit. We still stayed here. We don't have the option to lead to another country for quote unquote better opportunities. Another country that we are exactly so that's so 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 that's where the similarity what? stopped. You telling me that? Time out, but that's where the similarity stopped though. Y'all chose to come here. Y'all knew the United States was racist. Y'all chose to deal with that shit. Don't come crying to us screaming racism, again. getting pulled over by the police. You get what you pay for in the United States. And I never said we should. I never said that. That's we all should. I'm saying. But when it comes to but but my issue is is with the entitlement is when y'all practice our culture. You see, we can't sit up there and say Shea Bay. I can't go to Shea Bay and practice Haitian culture, right? When I know I'm not from there, I have no lineage there and try to appropriate y'all. But y'all could do it to us. Y'all have done it before, especially when it comes to hip hop. You have a lot of Jamaicans lying talking about hip hop created hip hop. I mean, Jamaicans created hip hop, and that's not even remotely the truth. Okay, you from New York, right? You born in what? You born in '95? Yeah. You was partying in New York. You was outside. Y'all, y'all was listening to Caribbean music, right? No, we were not. You cat, bro. Then you wasn't outside, bro. You cat. Bro, first of all, 
He was okay. Where? Tell me, where? Tell me, where? Hold on, tell me, hold on, tell me. I'm gonna tell you why it's cap. I'm gonna tell you why it's cap. I'm, I'm gonna tell you why it's not cap. First of all, the majority of black, the majority of people that were in my side of the hood, especially in the West Side and all that Central Harlem, West Harlem, West Side, East Side, where the Puerto Ricans were at, we were not listening to. My grandparents were not listening to no fucking Caribbean music because my parties. No, not in parties either. No, because the people who were doing the parties, mm, they were black up. Americans. We were playing James Brown records, my boy. At a party. Who, you was a teenager listening to James Brown at a party. You was born in 95. Yes, You're yeah, disingenuous. Yes, yes. yes. You're You're disingenuous. Disingenuous. You was going to parties. Okay, so you was wait, born in 95. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. No, he's, spe- on, he's speaking to me. First of all, yes. And, and family cookouts and stuff like that, we was listening to what our grandparents were listening to. We were listening to the Gap Band. James Brown and all that other shit. When I was growing up, we was not listening to no. I couldn't even give you five Caribbean artists. Parties amongst younger people, not your yes, family. Yes, we party. wasn't listening if you to went no to fucking parties Caribbean music. With other teenagers, if you no, went to parties with other teenagers, no you listened music. to James Brown. Yes. Yeah, you capping, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not cat. <laughs> okay. I can't give you. I can't give you five Caribbean artists right now. We don't listen okay. to that shit. Okay. If you say so. Over at Hunt Twenty Fifth Street, what the fuck? We wasn't listening to no Caribbean uh, music in Bronx and Harlem, right there. You know that, right? The Bronx and Harlem, right there. I be in Harlem, bro. I was partying in Harlem, bro. What part of Harlem? Now on the West Side. What do you mean now on the West Side? West One Twenty Ninth. What are you talking about? Son, we was not playing no fucking Caribbean music, bro. I was definitely playing Caribbean music. I went to Who? high school in Harlem, eight from Randolph on West One Thirty Fifth. What you talking Who? about? What artist? What artist? Bob's Cartel was not. Be- you telling me you don't under- you don't know who Bob's Cartel is? No. <laughs> if you play me a song, I may remember it, but I can't give you no names. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, you got man, it. Only Caribbean yeah. music we listen to. Who let the dogs out, man? Shaggy. Okay, okay. Is that him? Like, yeah, Shaggy, but Sha- but but, Sha- but Shaggy was in the mainstream though. Okay. But yeah, I've never know, heard. Time out. Know. But I've never heard nobody you in hard. The say, Elephant Man. Sean time out. Cole. They would. Bro, so, so, yo, Sean Paul was with Def Jam and all those guys. He was mainstream. I've never heard. I, I mean, we talking about we may talking about we, we may listen to Sean Paul if we're in the radio or something like that. But I've never heard nobody in Harlem saying, "Hey, yo, pop in that Sean Paul." Let me listen to I've that. Never shit. I've never heard. I've never heard that. Harlem, go to a party and say, "Turn on that James Brown." Yes. On, yo, bro, put on that James. We we teenagers. We talking 15, 16, 17. and they listen, like, yo, put listen. on that James Brown, bro. Listen, <laughs> well, I said, I said, I said in family gatherings, yes, they were playing James Brown. I listened to, I listened to all those artists that I said, I still listen to them to this day. My Jimi Hendrix, time out, Patti LaBelle, time out, Patti LaBelle, Gladys Knight in the Pips, Motown, Motown, Michael At Jackson, the Jackson 5, Brady you Brady listen to that in Harlem. In parties amongst teenagers, that's what you was listening to? That's Who my was the- question. Yo, you know what, bro? This is what I'm saying, bro. You, you an immigrant, bro. Yo, your price is not from something. Are you talking about teenagers? Are you talking about your era? Uh, is that he, what he, you're only to say? he only two years. He only two years older than me. It's the same era. In parties amongst okay, teenagers. Okay, so you talk. So you talking about your era? Right. Our era. Right. Right. I was born '95. Time out. Okay. Our era.